Hey guys, it is Melissa from Generation Studio and Shop coming at you live today again. Um, if you caught wind of us trying to go live a couple minutes, we're having some bad connection for some reason, so bear with me if I freeze, okay? I'll be like, and not moving. So we, um, talking about marbles, this is about ready to lose my marbles um, when we don't have a good internet connection. It drives me batty. Um, but I have my marbles here and I would love to show you what vital role that these marbles play when you get into working with the real milk paint, milk paint. Um, so I already did one here, but I want to show you how the milk paint comes. It is a true milk paint in the sense that it comes in powder form. So here is a quart. Um, just so you know, it comes in pints, quarts, gallons, and there's also little samples, which I'm sorry, I did not grab um, the samples, but uh, it makes for a nice, like if you just want to test out a color, it, it makes for a really great um, testing colors on different swatches, or if you have to do um, like little signs or something, it goes a long way. So the milk paint comes, like I said, this is a quart and it comes in a bag. It's true, true milk paint in powder form. So initially, now this has already been opened, but initially it comes wrapped so it's sealed. Um, what I do is I replace the rubber band with a twist tie because it's just easier than taking the rubber band up and over. So what we're going to do, can you hear that? Every can of milk paint comes with its own marble. And I'll tell you why in one second. So how to mix milk paint. It is a one-on-one, -on -one, meaning one part powder, one part water. So um, I'm gonna be painting something this week using the Betsy Ross Red because that is the color of the month with the Real Milk Paint Company. Um, and I'm also gonna be doing some layering. So like I've already mixed up some stoneware, which is a sort of gray white, but I'm also gonna add in a blue. So if you guys want to uh, tell me what color blue, and I'll show you what I'm thinking of choosing. So I'm gonna take a half a cup of milk paint, put it in there. I'm actually gonna do a, a whole cup because the piece I'm going to be working on, it was a handmade wooden uh, little dry sink. And it is so cute. It was made by a little Italian man um, in New York City um, back in the day. And um, it has all these like really intricate, weird carvings. It sort of reminds you of something that you would see in um, the gingerbread man's house or something like that. So I have two half cups or one cup of powder in there. And then we're just going to take the same amount of water and put in our container. Okay, marble, and it goes. This comes in a great plastic container, so make sure when you put on the lid you hear it pop. If you can come in closer just to listen, you wanna hear at least one or two pops. And there were three, okay. And all you gotta do is shake, shake, shake. So that's why I keep referring to shake and paint. And you just shake it up every which way you can. And I don't know if you can hear that marble in there. I may have not put as much water in this one as milk paint itself because it's not shaking as much as what the other one was doing. Like you can hear it in this one. Can you hear it? Shake, shake, shake. It almost reminds you of like a spray can. So what it's doing is that marble in there is acting as an agitator, just like you would have in um, a spray paint can. So shake and paint, and like I said, I might have to add a little bit, and depending on um, depending on the color, some are a little bit thicker with the pigments than others. Yeah, that's a little bit thick, so I'm gonna show you, but it's no, no big deal, because all I have to do is add a little, little bit more water in there. It's like being a mad scientist back here some days. Pop, 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 make sure it's on. And you just shake away, and you should shake for maybe five minutes, but you know, I never count, and I, I'm sure I never stand here for five minutes shaking it. 
I always like to mix my milk paint up like the night before so that all those, um, all the color, the pigments can get worked into the water and it just makes for a better color, I think. But you can paint right out of the jar and you can hear it in there now. Shake, shake, shake. I was gonna do a little dance, but I didn't think it'd be a pretty sight, so. So that is what the marble is for with the real milk paint. I love that it comes with, look at this beautiful creamy color. Can you guys come down and see this? Look at that gorgeousness. And that's just no bubbles in there, no froth, no foam. Um, if you do get that, there is an anti-foam, but just by shaking that, can you see in there that beautiful color? So I'm going to be doing this color. And like I said, I'm going to be doing the stoneware on this piece this week. You can just stay right there, my little camera lady. So it almost looks white, but it has a tinge of gray in there, okay? And then I'm debating between, you know what, let me do this. There you go. So I'm debating, it's sort of like a red, white, and blue, but it's not going to be because it's gonna be layered. So here's the navy blue, and these are true colors. And the other one I'm debating is, let me find it, the faded denim. So you guys, tell me in the comments below, would you go with the darker or would you go with the faded denim? And like I said, I'm going to be layering them so it's gonna be really cute. Um, come on back up if you would please, my camera lady. I'm so fortunate that I have, very, very blessed that I have a camera lady. But look at all these scrumptious colors. And like I said, these are um, what they have that you can order, but when you go to mix these things, and all you do is you know, take a cup of red and a cup of white to make a pink or whatever. So, I mean, the endless possibilities of color is just mind blowing to me. So, thank you very much. I hope you guys did not lose your marbles, although I have, but I do collect them, so that's why I do have marbles sitting around all over the place. These are not the ones that came from the real milk paint. These are antique marbles from my grandma, so. All right, you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for shaking and painting with me, and I'll see you probably tomorrow.